Very well. That is not helping. Back off! Can you guys stop it? Um, there's Yird and that's what I want. <laughs> oh, piss off. There we go. Really wish you guys would back off. Oh, 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 not fun. You know what, sod it. Yeah, I was trying to fight this properly, but I'm angry today. Let's throw on some black blood. Guards, leave! Bloody guards everywhere. Siana failed to appear as summoned. And there. Detloff was not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detloff out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me. I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis, another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. <sighs> Think Detloff still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Hmm. A war that he will certainly win. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Detlef is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance on a Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Mm. He has... point. I mean, I genuinely do not believe Detlef is evil. <sighs> the meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. Hmm. Yeah, okay then. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. 
You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog, keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. I trust I've dispelled your doubts then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. Say, I don't want to negotiate. How can I get Datlaf to self? How would I go about luring Detlaf out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. Among the oldest and strongest. Mm -hmm, and? I don't Just like that. His territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word. Designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. <laughs> All right, let's say she gets me in to see the unseen elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Okay, what's next? Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf, who'll you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Um. I don't. I want to know so much more about Ariana. Towards no nonsense. I'm leaning towards no nonsense. Sorry, Regis, but folk have died. Got no time to lose. Especially not on some kind of peculiar therapy for bizarre couples. I see. Alas, you know what to do. You must see Oriana, ask her to introduce you to the Unseen Elder. She might agree. What'll you do? Now? Whatever I can to limit the number of human victims to a minimum. Should you learn where the Elder dwells, do whisper a word to the Ravens. I'll come and help. Even though that could mean you'll fight Detlaf? Even though. Good luck, Geralt. Mm. Ooh, I can do either or. First things first, let's go looting. Uh. The guard brings peace to our domains. Oh, you're doing an excellent fucking job. As much as I would like to go find Damien, I'm more interested in where Ariana is. Because I want to know more about Ariana. have something to eat. Keep moving this way, I think. <sighs> this fairy tale duchy is definitely going through a nightmare. Well, let's go deal with the cat can. Can't have them hanging around. Okay. Need to summon a legion of witches or something. And a bunch of them on the battlefield. Maybe not to kill all the vampires, but sure as shit would keep them out of the way. Probably lose a couple of witches there in the process. Damn! 
Damn though, this looks cool. Out my way, people! Graken. You... Come on! Let's back off. Get some health back and throw on some Quen. This is pretty cool. Absolute shit show. Ah, <laughs> oh, look, the Ducal Camelengo. Wonder if he's got any. Uh, Run, child, run! Oh, fucking Bruxers! shit head. Okay. Literally doing nothing to it. What can I do against Bruxers? Because they are getting on my nerves. Vampires. Bruxer. Yerden. Black Blood. Vampiral. Moondust. Uh, that's Grape Sharp. Got moon dust out. You're going on the sword. Hehe. <laughs> Yeah, every strike hurts you now, doesn't it, too? Keep Yerden up. Yerden is four. Christ. Basically, just became canned goods to these vampires. The yeah, I really don't think that barricade did much. Bring it. Mm. 
Okay, here's Yerden. Come on! Okay, let's bring some more black blood. Seeing as that one just keeps disappearing very quickly. How long does it last? 60 seconds. There we go, got you both. Their audio's gone weird. This should be a much cooler fight. Come, Brooks, huh? How you like that silver? Come on. <sighs> it's a battle of attrition like this, I can win. Down you go. That's kind of annoying though. Fighting them feels a little bit cheap at times. You know what I mean? Anti vampire garlic. Yeah, that stuff doesn't work. Set fire to Oh, I just happened to come across Damien's unit, apparently. You killed it single handedly. That harlot's brood slaughtered half my unit. See, it came damn close to slaughtering you as well. <sighs> draw, you and your men, now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. Take as many people as you can up to the palace. and prepare to march out. Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver. That's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can, churn it out in gallons, then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxe. The shapely ones resemble women. They're one moment, gone the next. Bones containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. 
I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this skewer on a hook. We'll see. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sienna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sienna awaits her trial. In custody. Yeah, I know it. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Um. Folk are dying. Many more will. Because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. She won't learn. Come right after. Still willing to take the risk. See, I'm wasting my time here. Wait. <sighs> when... When last I saw Sienna, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locked Sienna up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. Sounds good. Gotta signal Regis and he'll join me. No. I... I'm still going to go see Oriana. I want to do it all. Mostly, I just want to know Ariana's story. I want to know her opinion on this as well. It seems that essentially Delaf has pulled a bunch of lower vampires into this fight. Really, get out. These fledders are nasty. Not invincible. Run. It's a slot. Clement soon it's smashed. Cost my estate. What of Captain Dane? Ariana, I would like to speak with you. I think you may have a unique view on this entire situation. In a hurry to get somewhere? Very much so. Now be kind enough to step aside. Chaos in the city. Know what's going on? Naturally. It's rather irritating. <laughs> yeah, actually. Really? Is that all you gotta say? In the streets. That's irritating? I'd probably use a stronger term. Well, you know. I'm getting on in years. Not easily impressed. Takes a bit more to get me worked up. Yeah, I suppose empathy's not something I associate with vampires. I suspected you would guess. Wasn't hard. Not like you tried hard to hide it. Should I have? Well, I am a witcher. And thus my foe? That depends entirely on you. <laughs> bit confrontational there, Geralt. So... Need to uh, see your unseen. Convince him to stop Deadlaugh. Heard you could help me with that. My, my. It seems my dear Regis needs to be reprimanded. He's become rather indiscreet. And you. There are simpler ways to commit suicide. A number of bridges you could jump off, for instance. Just want to talk to him. <laughs> talk. Lovely. He'll rend your head from your neck. Make shreds of you before you can open your mouth. Let me worry about that. Willing to do it or not? Hmm. I too would prefer a city calmed, but to reveal so dear a secret to a witcher. I mean, based on how you you're describing him, Come with I'm me. no threat. I must tend to a certain matter. Then we'll talk. Uh, 
permanent. If I was talking to a human now, I'd say that every moment we delay brings another death. Thing is, doubt that moves you at all. Frankly, not in the least. I think people like that are in real life of vampires as well. Not far. You see, I maintain a kind of shelter just outside Beauclair. But an orphanage, to be precise. I've heard the birds whisper. They claim a terrible thing's happened there. Under the present circumstances, I must treat this seriously. I'm sure you understand. Is it an orphanage or a blood bank? Let's go. Come, Roach, let's go. Must cost a small fortune maintaining this place. What can I do? I have a weakness for children. Meaning? Yeah. Meaning that I... <laughs> Wait. Smell that. Blood. I don't think we need to go ahead of her. Oh no. Pretty sure she can literally handle herself. This is a fucking bloodbath. She's doing an excellent job of keeping her. Where's Arno? Speak. Oh, the, the, the mon monster walker come. Just keeping her composure around all this blood. This will help the kid. Easy, little man. You're safe now. I was so scared. So scared. Of what? You can tell us. Take your time. I... I w woke up because of the bells. Then the screams. I pulled the quilt over my head so I wouldn't hear. But... They were so loud. And... Something began pounding on the roof. Boom! Boom! Louder and louder. Then... Uncle Arno came and said, sit quiet, real quiet, shh, shh, and you'll be all right. The whole son abandoned them, left them, and ran away. Yeah, I want to know both then? these. Bartes, Neve, Mora, and some others, they ran out. <sighs> My sister Anna and me, we hid right here in the room. Is your sister? Anna, she began to cry. I covered her mouth, whispered, Shh, Oh, fucking sh hell. Sh held her long till she stopped. Oh, my. Say you. Drop it. God. This is it. Who's this? Oh, no. The Guardian. He ran the orphanage with his wife for a generous fee. I don't see them. Can't hear or smell them either. They fled, left the children behind as bait. Uncle Arn told us to be quiet as mice, and the monster wouldn't come. But it did. It came. Think I know enough. As do I. Something killed my children. I'll stay with the boy. He shouldn't be left alone again. You, you track down this scum. Bring me its head, and I'll help you with the unseen. Yep, is the kid okay? Boys hurt. Wounds need dressing. Not to worry. I'll see to it. You sure? Got a lot of practice. Just need a few minutes to... Go! Don't drain the child, please. Fine. See if I can't find a lead. Excellent. Go on. Get to work. Come, little one. I'll sing to you. Walls are sleeping midst the 
trees but all a swaying in the breeze but when so lies anxious wide awake fearing all man out of ghouls hacks and rays did not realize that that was the song <laughs> against the wall skull cracked died immediately beast killed the children but didn't eat them something scared off or grab its attention maybe Arno didn't quite grab their attention quick enough maybe he was literally trying to draw the beast away Stomach wall cut open in three places. Damaged organs, arteries. This is... This is literally horrific. <laughs> I'm actually... Not sure how to say anything about this. And that poor kid killed his sister. An attempt to Long keep marks. her quiet. Sharp hooked claws. Monster had an easy time climbing on the roof. Head, shoulder, and neck wounds. Monster attacked from above. Jumped off the roof, I bet. Ripped open. Larynx crushed. Anything else apart from steps? Flatter, Catacan. Wounds are smooth edged. Claws cut through cleanly. Young, thin bones offered little resistance. <sighs> I'm certain this oh, is. Dried. Certain this is definitely a vampire. Not blood. Need to investigate. Sliced aorta. Fang marks alongside, but they're old, scarred over. Fang marks alongside. She has a weakness for children. Eh. Uh, mostly say, not sure how to take that one. of suspects. Venom glands, long claws, a bloodsucker. Must be a Garcane, a pack leader, an alpha. The Garcane's killing's a pleasure. Kids just whet its appetite. Must have gone after the Guardians too. Hmm. Garcane and wagon tracks merge. Wonder if the beast caught up. Roach. Let's go. You really don't want to be here, Mr. Knight's Errant. Horses must have gotten spooked. How do we take this entire situation? Got King caught up. Trail ends here. Need to look around. Are bad. 
least it didn't suffer long. Shredded her, then licked up her blood. Every last drop got a to Do not near here. the kids, though. Probably hold up nearby to digest. Aha. Uh -huh. Found you. What's the. Tell me about. Um, Garcanes, then. Alpha Garcanes. When a vampire gives a witcher a contract to kill another vampire, you can be certain neither of the two is entirely normal. The contract seems simple enough, though. Geralt knew his target was a vampire, yet one must bear in mind that vampires are a very diverse group. Their various species differ from one another greatly. The witcher established the individual he sought had long hooked claws, which it could tear apart a body with ease, leaving behind venom, which hindered the clotting of blood. What's more, it could use these claws to scale even the sheer outer walls of a building, giving others the impression it possessed mind-boggling powers. Geralt also realised his opponent was an experienced predator, able to set ambushes for its prey and attack it unexpectedly. So black blood, vampire oil, salmon. Cool. So yeah, generally the, the normal stuff. I'm going to save and restart because the audio seems to have just gone. Um, superior salmon, what I was looking for. Bills. Save. Turkey, back in a second. You're in absolutely nothing. Playing again. Back in a second, just going to use the toilet. And I'm back. There we go. Hopefully audio's back. Come on. Any day now. Okay. Pretty sure I know where the Garcane is. It's not really hiding that well. Just gonna try and jump up and stab it in the face. <laughs> Definitely caught that guy, didn't it?
gonna hang your head from my saddle, bastard. <laughs> Are we going to hit it, Gary, or are we just going to keep swinging our sword very close to it? That one. Right. Still at least one person to. Yeah. Letter from Ariana. Honored. I don't care at all that turn it. I don't care at all that turnip is the cheapest. It makes the blood thin and bitter. I've told you many times, cost is no object. Don't try to cut corners, otherwise I'll start to suspect that you're funneling coin into your own pouch. My children will eat well and in good quantity. Make sure they have dessert after each meal. I didn't bring you all those sweets for nothing. And one more thing. If I ever see any more marks from beatings, you'll be in trouble. Serious trouble. Those kids. Ariana kept them like farm fowl or livestock. He says on the free it. range. <sighs> there we go. Magic roach. time. Get you fixed. And the kids had a relatively nice life? They were orphans. I don't know. I really don't know how this... if this is good, bad, or anything. Go! Else. Go! All I know is everything about this entire situation feels awful. And Duchess Anna Henrietta has only herself to blame. <sighs> Fuck's sake, Oriana. Oriana. Release him. Now. I thought it would take you longer. It will. Still not done. Got one more thing to tend to. You. The orphanage. Your wine cellar, right? A larder for blood. I never said I helped these children out of the kindness of my heart. Go outside, little man, and lock the door behind you. No! Don't hurt her! Lady Oriana took care of us. She took us off the street, brought us sweets, sang to us. Leave her be! You see, Witcher, the world's not black and white. It's shades of all kinds. I drank from the children, true, but never so much as to kill. And I gave them a great deal in return. <laughs> see... I know that the general kind of reaction would be to get angry, but you are their food source. They, we do the same thing to other animals. Mm. Expect me to thank you for taking such good care of the orphans. You care so much for their well-being. <laughs> Amusing. 
How do young witches fare? She has a point. How many survive your trials? Don't change the subject. Not about to let you. Then get to the point. Did what you asked. Children slaughters the work of a Garcane, one of those summoned by Dedlaf. Probably supposed to attack the city. Children sent lured it here. Yes, it carries quite away. Its sweetness teases the nose, gets the mouth. Okay, we, I don't need to know about this, Oriana. Unseen Elder, where'll I find him? Talk. His lair lies west of the city, across the lake. Look for a cave near the shoreline, and this stone will open a hidden door. Not gonna okay. take me there? I visit the Elder only when I absolutely must. You'll know why once you meet him. I'll come back for you one day. You realize that, right? Hmm. Then I shall keep an eye out for you. Duchess Anna Henrietta is surrounded by vampires, and she has no idea. Time to summon Regis. Slip a word to the birds, he said. Mm. So what's this going to... ...tell me to do, I wonder? So, I'll be at the boat landing near the palace, waiting for Regis there. Mind telling him? <laughs> Just a guy riding past in the background. Let's go to meet Regis. You've met with Oriana. How did it go? Not well. Oh. Did she not divulge where you might find the Unseen? No, she did. Also divulged her hunger for the blood of small children. Well, I admit I'd heard rumors, but... preferred to lend them no credence. Rather not talk about it. Well, there's Caves credence. west of town, other side of the lake. That's where we need to go. I see. Well, I'm prepared to set out at any time, but... Yeah, I know. You'd still prefer to free Sienna, for Dedloff's sake. For the sake of you both. Oh, please. Orphanage, what happened there? His fault, plain and simple. City gutters are overflowing with blood, that's his doing too. And you're worried somebody might have hurt his feelings? To meet the Unseen Elder is to face mortal danger. I've said so all along and never in jest. You are a friend, a dear friend. I'd rather you not risk your neck unnecessarily. I think it's natural, I think it's obvious. Obviously natural. Especially when we've an alternative. An entirely reasonable one. Hmm. This... Hmm. This is difficult. I don't know how this will go. Let's think how should all this go. You know what? I'm gonna go find Sienna. <sighs> You've worn me down, Regis. Fine, have it your way. 
playroom. Let's go. Excellent decision. Time will tell. In the books, Regis generally is very intelligent, thinks through all of his moves. So I'm hoping he's right in this regard as well.